Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another tutorial and today I'll be showing you this look that I'm wearing. I hope you guys like it. If you do, stay tuned to see how to recreate it. I'm going to show you in a minute. To begin with, I'm going to apply some eyeshadow base and this is MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. It will keep my eyeshadow in place and also create some base. For today's look, I'm going to be using two of my absolute favorite palettes right now, the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 2 and 1. I'm going to show you the one later on. They have some amazing neutral shades and also some gorgeous pigmentation. They have some matte and shimmer shades, so it's a perfect combination to take with you anywhere. You can create so many different looks with these palettes. You can do neutral shades for during the day. You can do dramatic ones, smoky. You can really create a lot of looks with these two palettes and they're very affordable. So this is what I like about them. So uh, I'm going to build the intensity into the crease with these two shades that I showed you and this will create some definition and dimension into my crease. I'm going to take this darker shade and just build that on the outer part of my crease and lid. I'm just going to blend it as I go. So apply a little at a time. You can always apply more if need be. So you keep blending around the edges with first the same brush and then you're going to take a clean fluffy blending brush and just go around this will soften the edges and give you that smooth look. Now I'm going to take this matte black eyeshadow by Urban Decay and with this bullet crease brush I'm going to just place that on the outer part of my lid and a little bit into the crease. I'm going to take this blending brush and just go around the edges. Make sure when you're applying dark shades you don't actually blend the shade itself. You're just blending around the edges and this will soften the look and also create that seamless line basically which is what you're going for. Next I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to place the same shade I placed into the crease on the lower lash line just to warm it up and give it some definition. Then I'm going to take a flat shader brush and the matte black eyeshadow and just build that on the outer part of my lower lash line and this will kind of give my eye that almond shape. So when applying this shade on the lower lash line, make sure you wiggle the brush back and forth and this will give you that precision. You don't want to really rub it. And then if you want to soften it a little bit, go back with the pencil brush and just soften the line so it can look nice and smooth. Now I'm going to take the nude palette one and from here I'm going to use the first shade and just highlight my brow bone with this shade and a small flat brush and this will just give you that illusion of light underneath the brow bone if you want to go with something more shimmer you can do that so I mixed this shade with some Inglot Duralin drops to make it more creamy and it's pigmented on its own it's just that I wanted more shimmer and more drama to it so this is why I used the drops and I'm going to apply all over the lid and a little bit into the black, just a little bit, don't go all the way. And I'm going to keep adding more to brighten it even more and just open up my eye more. So just keep adding. And now the first layer that I added was mixed with the drops but the second one was just dry on its own. So now I'm going to line my lids and for this I'm using the Tarte Gel Liner and an angle brush by MAC. This is my favorite brush to apply gel liner. And first I'm going to extend the wing. So now I have an idea to where it's going to end. And next I'm going to take it in and just like build it gradually. So you don't wanna have a thick and very dramatic wing. You're going for something, you know, more natural, I would say. Wing liner is nowhere near natural, however, you know, you can make it more wearable if you're not used to the thick, heavy wings. Just lately, I haven't been wearing much liner, so if I, if I do wear wing liner, I go for something like this, that's more subtle. So once you're done with the liner, you can go ahead and apply your falsies. And I'm going to just line my waterline, just the outer part. 
and these are the lashes I'm using these are Boudoir by House of Lashes my favorite right now next I'm gonna brighten my face with some concealer and mattify it with some powder the powder I'm using is by Urban Decay it's a this sleek powder it's my favorite it keeps my face shine free throughout the day then I'm gonna take Bahama Mama bronzer by the balm and I'm going to use this real techniques brush to contour the sides of my forehead the top of my forehead and I'm gonna apply that along the jawline as well to kind of define it then I'm gonna go over the tip of my nose a little bit and switch the brushes I'm gonna take the angle brush and contour my cheekbones this will really make them stand out make sure the brush is clean when picking up the bronzer you don't want any leftover product it's very important that the lines underneath the cheekbones are nice and smooth and they don't show you don't want any harsh lines with the bronzer you want it to look as smooth as and as natural as possible then I want to take some blush and this is by Tarte I'm going to apply it on the apples of my cheeks with a clean blending brush angle brush just a little bit on the tip of the nose as well I'm gonna blend that with a clean brush later on again and extend that into the contour for my cheekbones and the tip of my nose I'm going to use Anastasia's starlight highlighter and this one is gel to powder it's an amazing texture actually glides on so smooth and it's super intense so apply it on the tops of the cheekbones and I already applied on the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow now for my lips I'm using Whirl lip liner by MAC and I'm gonna line my lips first with this liner and then fill them in slightly now if you guys wanna stop here you don't wanna use any lipstick over it you can this shade is amazing and so natural on its own but I'm going to apply some lipstick and today I'm using those of color brick and I love the shade I like how it looks like it kind of reminds me of Lime Crime Wicked, just a more lighter version of it and more wearable, I guess. So it's, it is a brick red shade. <laughs> so yeah, this is what it looks like. If you guys want to go for something more nude for the lipstick, because the eyes are a little bit more on a dramatic side, you can also do that. That was it for today guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you liked this look. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I'm going to put the link right here so you guys can click on it and subscribe. And if you have any comments or any questions, you can either drop me an email if that's what you prefer or leave them in the comment section below. If you have any ideas or any requests for my next videos, also you can leave them in the comment section below. Thank you again for watching guys, I will see you soon with another tutorial and until then, stay blessed, I love you, bye!